Oh, hey everybody. Uh, I just ended my first French lesson. And uh, first impression, French is going to be a little bit overwhelming. Obviously in the beginning, it's going to be overwhelming. I, I don't see how it could not be overwhelming. Uh, let's review what I learned today about French. And French is very foreign to me. It's it's nothing at all like Japanese, Chinese, or Korean. It's completely foreign. Uh, so French has plurals. Japanese, Chinese, and Korean doesn't, for all intents and purposes. Uh, but French plurals can end with an S or an X. But when you speak French plurals, those plurals are not able to be heard because the S and the X are silent. And in order to know if something, when you're listening to speaking, is plural or not, you need to listen to the determinant. The determiner, I guess, is what that is. Uh, my, my, my French accent is so Korean or Japanese, not Japanese, it's, it's Korean more than anything. I'm not able to master that yet. I, I've only started, I've had one hour of French. Uh, and then you've got masculinity and femininity, femininity, and everything has to match with that. Everything has to match. The verb has to match. The determiner has to match. Their B verb, I think, had five or six different versions, like almost like English, like I am, he is, we are. Uh, there's, but but I I'm really having a hard time. She'll say something like ending in an I sound. And it sounds like she's saying ish, but it's probably ich. But I, but then I, when I say ish, she's like, no, it's just ich. And I don't know, I'm not exactly sure what she's saying. It doesn't help that my connection wasn't so good with her. But she's a phenomenal teacher. I'm really enjoying her. Um, what else? What else? Um, just, I learned about the, le sedia, le sedia. Oh my God, I'm so bad. I'm so bad right now. Please forgive me. This is the Polyglot George channel, but I'm definitely not a French speaker yet. Um, so she sent me three different documents. Uh, and today we focused on Je ne comprends, je ne, je ne comprends pas. I don't understand. And je comprends. Pront. Again, my accent's completely bad. That's uh, I. So when you say a negative in French, it's the ne pa, and the verb goes in the middle to make it negative. And what I don't understand is, I don't know if that's I don't understand or I can't understand, because that would be a big difference. Like un, I'm unable to understand versus um, I do not understand. So I don't know if that means I don't, if I say I don't go, would that be je ne go, whatever the verb is, pa. Meaning, oh, it's just something I don't do, or it doesn't mean I'm unable to go. That I don't know. Uh, Koman, ko my accent is so bad. It's co written comment, but Koman, 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 I, oh, I can't do it. <laughs> Koman, sasekrit, how is it written? And then I learned the difference between a normal C and a C with a. Oh, I forgot what it was called. Oh, no, that was the sedil. That was the le sedil. Uh, sedil. Again, I'm, I'm not, my, my ear can't even properly hear. Here's the fun thing about French for me right now. I can't even hear. It's not entering my ear properly. So repeating it is very hard. My mouth has no idea what to do. Um... And even when I'm looking, like, direct, this is the difference between Japanese, Korean, and even Chinese. When you look at the words in Chinese and Japanese and Korean, you can read them. Like, if you know the reading, you can read them. French, so many silent letters, and English messes you up. Like, I learned how to say, I think that means, what does it mean? But I don't remember now. It's a, I, I can't even try. I can't even try. It's quest with apostrophe in the middle. So, kus, kus, kuska, kuska, kwe. I freaking have no idea. Sa, I, I can't. This is the one I can't do. 
I literally cannot even read it. Uh, I have to listen. I need to get some sound files. And then there's, vous pouvez parler plus lentement, s'il vous plaît. S'il vous plaît, at least I've heard before. At least I've heard s'il vous plaît. But man, uh, what else did I learn? Uh, there's five different accent marks. And she did it with uh, with just e. And one with like uh, eh, eh. There's two that are the same, and and she says that this is very important. Uh, yeah. And then there's two versions of you. There's two, two vous. Like two, oh, maybe u means, I thought it meant or, but maybe it means and. So it's two and vous. The two is informal. Children use it with everybody. You can use it with your friends. But talking up in society or people you don't know use vous. <sighs> so that's, I recorded it all, but I haven't gotten permission to uh, put it up yet. Yeah, that one. That that was one of them, and and Cipital, but que que yeah que que se I don't know. I'm gonna keep doing it. I'm gonna see how much I can slam my brain with it. This teacher went, uh, I think, almost 15 minutes over our allotted time. She really was trying to get through these things. Um, I wonder how much I'll remember next week. Uh, and then, yeah, in, in, and in the, everything that she sent me is 100% French. There's no English on it. Like, I'm like, I'm being thrown into French when I'm going to be honest, I have no desire to learn French. None. I'm just going to see if I can do it. It's, it's like, if I'm going to be polyglot George, this is how I feel. Th this is a weird thing. We, we, you've heard me talk about like, you've heard me talk before on the Japanese channel. Maybe you have. I mean, I have too many videos. I'm sure not. you guys don't see everything. But um, you've got to mentally be there, right? You've got to believe that you can speak Japanese, that you're learning, that you're not just, oh, I'm just a beginner. I don't know anything. You've got to feel like an insider. I've said this before. And it's almost like fake it till you make it, right? So I am going to, what I'm doing with French is, I'm going to see what I can do with a language that I don't really care about because I've always felt like you must care about the language. But is that not true? Maybe, maybe it's not true. Maybe if you expose yourself enough to it, right? I mean, I'm going to have to find some podcasts where they're, I, I mean, if you guys know radio shows where they're not teaching French, where they're conversing in everyday French, then please let me, let me know. And then, oh my gosh, when she was saying, like, even just, oui, oui, you know, and uh, I already forgot what no was. I think it was just no. Uh, I'm not going to look at it. But oui, like, there was, like, wish. It sounds like wish to me. But she's saying, oui. But I think it's just a, the way they hard end their I sound. Oui, oui. Z-A-Z. Is that good one? Zet horse? Let's see, where's my phone? Uh, and then I thought, I thought that I don't know met je ne sais quoi, but it was, it's je ne sais pas or something like that. She said that je ne sais quoi, I don't think I'm saying it right, is something she couldn't really easily explain to me, but je ne sais pas is I guess I don't know. Okay. Let's see if I can find, oh, uh, non. No, boy, my, th this, the accent's killing me for day one, day one. I, I, I will eventually get it, but it's going to sound Korean for a while. And you know, when a teacher says, yes, very good. And they don't mean it. Yeah, she has to move forward. So she's saying, Très bien. but it was not Très bien. Uh, I don't even know how to say, I, I, oh, also I learned, I learned, um, ça va, ça va. Is it okay? Yeah, it's okay. Got it? Got it. Ça va. And then something that you put in front to make it a question, but it doesn't translate in English. All right. Um, I have to go back and look at my notes and watch it again. Okay. Let's see here. Let's see if we can find this podcast 
that Zet Horse recommended me. Where was it? Uh, can you post it again? I. Oh, Z A Z. Okay, so let's see. Podcast ad. Search for podcast. This better be all French. I don't want like people speaking Zaza is what I found. Zaza. Is this French? It could be French, but I can't tell. That's how bad my French is. It looks like it's Italian. This is Italian, dude. Zaza's a t Z A Z doesn't exist. It was Zaza. Okay, I need a I need a French. I need a French radio show where they're just having conversation. Something like that. Qu'est-ce que c'est? Qu'est-ce que c'est? Thank you, that one, Costello. Yeah, that was the one I was saying earlier. Why did I want to do French? I don't want to do French. I don't. I want to see, can I learn a language that I don't love? Maybe I will eventually love it. I've heard, there's a, there's not a theory. I've read books on it. Uh, I've read a book that at least talked about it where it, it was a book that I read the book because I didn't disagree. I agreed. I disagreed with it, but it was a book that basically said, don't follow your passion. And I was like, what? Don't follow your passion. Because he showed throughout history, people that have said follow their passion didn't follow their passion. But the thing that they got good at is what they became passionate about. For example, I never wanted to teach Japanese. Never did I ever want to teach Japanese. But yet I got good at teaching Japanese. I never thought that I was going to be doing multiple languages. But because I got good at language, I decided to do more languages. This, the things that you become good at are what you become passionate about. Because in Latin languages, the normal C is sometimes K. Well, okay, apparently it's always a K sound unless you've got that little sedil thing. And I, yes, yes, the sed, yes. Okay, thank you. Guys, I'm reading your comments. Um, yeah, but anyway, I don't want to listen. I don't want to learn French. Oh, Zaz is a French singer. No, I don't need a French singer. I need a podcast, guys. Okay, okay. Thank you, Jarrett. Uh, L'agence? I don't know how to say. L'agency? I put a French keyboard in, but how much did that help? I couldn't figure out how to even make. What's the shortcut? What's the shortcut for making the the the, the sedil? The sedil. How do I make the sedil, guys? Okay, I found it. The mission for less geeks. Okay. Let me let me subscribe to this. Let me listen to one of these. I'm all up about. I'm all up on this. Here we go. View episodes. This is my first French. Right here. Oh my God, my wife just sneezed. Scared the shit out of me. Okay. Why is it not downloading? Play. Stream now. Here we go. Oh, my internet's not so good today, I guess. C'est magnifique. 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 Oh, I feel like... I feel... I mean, this is the feeling you get with every new language. Inadequate. Like, extremely inadequate. But also very suggestive. Like, when she's talking, everything she's saying, I'm receiving. Does that make sense? Uh, when you don't know something, and someone's explaining it to you, you basically go like this. You go, Give it. Give it to me. And I'm in that... Like, you could feed me all wrong French right now, and I would try to accept it. Oh my gosh, there's already debate. Zethor said, and how about you, Skirim, to let him do what he wants and do something better for your life than watch the stream? Wait, what did this guy say? 
No offense, George, but instead of trying to speak a lot of languages, try to get good at the languages you already speak first. Nothing cool, cool about a polyglot. Are you kidding me? I've already spent six years learning Korean. Is it not soon enough for me to learn another language? Chinese I've, already, I've been doing for, uh, I think, now almost two years. Um, you know that my entire business is language, right? That's all I do. So it doesn't, it makes sense that I learn a non-Asian language, right? And Skirim, how much money do you make a month? How much money do you make? How successful are you? How much time in the day do you have to do anything you want to do? Is anyone your boss? Do you have total freedom? Maybe before you give me advice, you should get your own stuff together. Because I have total freedom in my life. Except for my house and my car now. I have no debt. But I pay that debt off um, way above and beyond what's required. And probably within three to four years, I'll have zero debt. Depending on... If, if things got better, the first thing I do with my money is throw it towards my debt. I'm just saying, though, what have you done in your life to be able to tell me that I should focus on the other languages? Right? Just saying. Ski rim. It wasn't hate. It was simply some advice. It was, And you wrote advice wrong. You wrote advice. Ski rim, maybe learn how to write advice. I don't know. Look, what makes you happy, Ski rim? Ski rim? Ski, I don't know what your name is. Maybe it's Skyrim. I don't know. What makes you happy? Do you do that thing a lot? What if someone told you, don't do that thing and focus on the other things that you're already bored with? I'm not bored with Chinese for the record or Korean or even Japanese, right? But I am excited to learn more languages. And did you know that every new language you learn, you learn faster? And did you know that the more languages you learn, the better you understand the other languages that you learned? Because your brain, there's an overlying, there's an over arching structure in the brain for language and what I for example there was things she was saying in French to me she 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 explained some things in French I can try to remember what it was but at the time I was like oh that's not hard for me to understand at all because that similar thing happens in Korean she said this is hard for Americans to understand but and I, and I was like, no, it's not. It, well, I didn't say this to her, obviously, but in my mind I was thinking, oh, not a problem. My brain is soft to understand that languages have rules. And, and I don't get hung up on why. Why would you do it that way? I just know that's the way that you do it. I understand. And when she said, uh, you just have to learn these things, there's no pattern to it. I was like, okay, understood. Good to know. If there was a pattern, it would have been figured out by somebody by now. So there's no pattern, then I'll just learn it. Fine. And when she said, don't just learn the word, learn the determinant, whatever, how do you say that? I'm sorry. The determiner with it. Um, and then how it changes with masculine and non-masculine. And how she said, uh, some words, like, like you, you, if it's this way, it's only girls. And if this is the way, it could be boys, all boys, but it could also be girls in there. But the context would tell you. That might be hard for Americans right? That only speak English. But for me, I was like, okay, that makes sense. Because Chinese writes he, she, and uh, it all different ways, but it's said the same, right? So that, oh, that was another concept that I was thinking about in the middle of what she was saying about how it sounds the same, but it's different. Those concepts are all not foreign to me. So I don't have to spend a lot of time breaking that down in my brain, breaking down an English prejudice, right? Uh, do you thought, George, do you know the difference between French Canadian French and French from France? No, but I, when I installed my keyboard, there was a lot of French options, Belgium and all sorts of different French. So no, I don't. I, everything I know about French, I've probably just said in this live stream. I don't know anything about French. Technically, you're polyglot once you're good at at least three languages. Far I know George is already fluent in four. 
um, English, Korean, and Japanese. My fourth one, Chinese, I'm still learning, right? I won't die in China. I think I could get help in China if I needed it. What I, I don't know how much help I could get in Korea. I think I wouldn't, I definitely wouldn't die in Korea. I've, I've already had many situations where I've had to use my Korean in an only Korean context to get things accomplished. I mean, I, I watched my Korean lesson the other day. I'm reading Goosebumps. And when I ask her questions, I do realize that I need to slow down. Like I'm, I'm too fast. I'm not, that's not a brag point. That's like literally a problem. Like I'm saying it so fast that I don't even know how she understood me. If only because she's Korean. I need to slow it down. Like she's speaking at a reasonable pace and I'm like somehow scrunching everything together. It's compulsory for everyone in the UK to learn French. Really? Yeah, I started learning French when I was 15. So I remembered où habites-tu? But then it's when you ask with vous, you have to say où habite-vous? Où habit, où habit, où habit, où habit you have to say it that way. Où habitez-vous? So everything has to agree. So apparently, even if you use the vu, you have to make the habit into habites, habites. So that will take time. My French Canadian told me Canadian French is like really old fashioned compared to French. They speak of French, France. I'm definitely going to learn French French. Great way to ease learners like me into reading when it's something, when it's with something else too. I don't know what that means. Sorry. Anyway, I'm exhausted. I'm going to book another lesson. I'm going to start going through the book. Um, but I can't, I, I just cannot guess how to read some of these things. It really makes you appreciate Korean and Japanese and even Chinese. It makes me appreciate that. Well, I'm, you know what, though? Honestly, I, I can't come down on French yet because I am like a complete newbie, right? So how could I possibly know how to read things? I imagine there's... Eventually, I'll know. I'll just know, and it'll get faster and easier. But we'll see. I'll keep you guys updated, and... Uh, Maybe my teacher will allow me to put her videos up on this channel and we can see my progress. But as for right now, je ne comprends pas. Je ne comprends, comprends pas. I don't know if that D is silent. Comprends pas. Com, comprends pas. Je ne, je ne comprends pas. Yes, but I was asking a question, CY, uh, CN, CN Yala, tu habit versus vous habitez, habite. I was asking the question with, which was, où habitu, or où habitez vous. By the way, there are a lot of groups of exceptions for French verbs. People have figured this, people have figured this stuff out, just that a lot of people teach it in different ways. Yeah, I, we have a similar thing in this, in the Spanish from Zero book that we were working on where there was like a, a pattern to remember things, but I don't know that yet. You know, interesting, Kato Aizawa, it's so weird. I know you're saying home language is a good channel if you want to listen to some native French lessons. I actually don't. I have zero interest. I really don't want to spend more time listening to French. I'm going to listen. Did that thing even play? Where did that thing go? Where'd my, where'd my phone go? How could it disappear? I'm sitting right here. Hang on. Oh, there it is. Let's see if this French thing downloaded. Yeah. It's good stuff. That's a hell of an intro. What happened to you? 
Vous allez voir dans le générique, alors je le fais moi-même, en direct euh, du studio de Brajlon, parce que nous ne sommes plus au studio B. On fait un petit ATG bonus, on va vous parler du festival de SF de films, le SF de Martigues, qui arrive dans quelques jours. Donc voilà, on inaugure les ATG bonus avec le MS3F Festival. On va tout vous dire dans quelques secondes avec Patrick Giraud, Benjamin Legrand et Lucie et moi-même. Eh bien, bonjour les geeks. Bonjour. 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 <rire> bonjour. Il n'y a pas que des geeks autour de cette table, mais c'est pas grave. Bon, c'est militaire, hein, le départ. Oui, c'est assez martial, les, les <rire> nouveaux génériques de l'ATG. Bonjour, Patrick Giraud. Bonjour. Euh, bonjour, bonjour Benjamin Legrand. Bonjour. Et bonjour Lucie. Bonjour. On va arrêter <rire> Lucie dans quelques secondes. Alors, euh, oui, c'est un peu une horaire inhabituelle pour enregistrer un ATG. Et c'est aussi une configuration inhabituelle puisque nous sommes dans that, that, le cadre see, d'un I know ATG. One verb, right? I be, genre, et je pense qu'il y en aura d'autres. Pourquoi nous sommes là aujourd'hui C'est que nous allons parler de plein de choses. Et <rire> entre autres, nous allons parler d'un festival euh, du film à Martigues qui arrive à la fin du mois. Mais euh, avant ça, j'ai une petite annonce. Euh, Patrice, tu n'as pas d'annonce spécifique euh, à faire Petite euh, annonce, un small announcement, I'm guessing. Euh, Lucie, ouais. euh, tu n'as pas besoin d'un appartement. <rire> euh, <rire> Benjamin, tu n'as pas un truc à vendre Non. Oh, ça tombe bien. Euh, moi, j'ai une petite annonce parce que je ne sais pas si vous savez, mais ce week-end, on a fait une nuit au max, une double nuit au max assez longue, puisque on a fait euh, une nuit au max Ghibli avec un concert de Cécile Corbel. Vous avez peut-être vu passer ça et euh, on a euh, fait une captation euh, vidéo euh, pour le plaisir, parce que c'était vraiment avec des moyens amateurs. Mais enfin, on s'est fait plaisir pour un souvenir. Et puis peut-être que si j'arrive à monter quelque chose, je vous en passerai des extraits euh, sur la chaîne YouTube, justement. Et à ce titre, il euh, y a YouTube. un des monteurs, enfin euh, un des monteurs, un des cadreurs, pardon, euh, qui m'a pardon, demandé pardon. de passer un message, uh, car il fait un tournage pardon. d'un long métrage où ils où il bossent tous... Euh, d'arrache-pied là-dessus, et très bientôt, ils vont avoir besoin de figurants pendant quelques jours. Donc, je voulais passer son message, son appel à figuration. Son appel. Je le fais parce que son Guillaume appel. s'appelle Gleb, pour les amis, est venu euh, faire le cadrage de cette nuit au max, de cet enregistrement de concert, vraiment bénévolement, il l'a fait très sympathiquement, alors qu'en plus, il bossait petit, petit dans le week-end, et euh, il est venu nous filmer tout ça euh, avec beaucoup de gentillesse et beaucoup de professionnalisme, et franchement, c'était très cool. Donc, euh, c'est, ils ont besoin, pour un, le, la scène finale de leur film, ils ont besoin d'une trentaine de personnes de tous âges, dispo euh, quelque part, <rire> entre le 5 et le 9 mai prochain. Il s'agit de faire de la figuration pour une soirée sur le long métrage euh, dont il est ingénieur son. Euh, et ça sera entre 22h et 6h du matin dans le coin de Melun. Donc, si vous habitez pas loin de Melun, que vous avez envie d'aller sur un tournage... Il euh, n'y a pas de, de, d'âge limite ou de... Enfin, soyez pas trop jeune quand même parce que les parents vont s'inquiéter. Voilà, ils cherchent une trentaine de personnes. Entre le 5 et 9 mai prochain, il va falloir envoyer votre candidature à contact.collectivborg.fr. All right, all right, all right I get it. Midway through, it sounded German to me. Midway through, I felt like I was listening to German. Okay. So, I guess you were saying appel means... You said it means something different. I just saw it in the ages. Uh, it means a call. Okay, I bet. <sighs> All right. I feel like French is doable. I feel like if I listen to that every day, because that's how I, my Chinese has been helped and that's how my Korean has been helped, listening is definitely going to help. So we'll try. We'll see. George, did you know that one third of... English words are loan words from French. I mean, I'm, I'm aware of that for sure. Rendezvous. Do you rendezvous much? Yeah, no, I understand. If you pronounce them slightly different, they will become French. Uh, listen to French by my... my no, no. Honestly, can I tell you what? I know this is going to be very horrible. I'm not going to listen to anyone else that teaches French. I'm not going to. I don't want to. I don't know why. I'm... Uh, It takes away from me personally. If I, I want to figure out things on my own. I don't want to be told a lot of things. I am going to fi- look. This is this is extremely contradictory to what I've said. It's better to learn from a pro. I don't know. You know, let me let me let me think about if I want to listen to these other people right now. Right now, I'm not feeling like I want to go see another professional teach me. 
I just want to see what I can do with one teacher for a bit and see what I can absorb and make connections on my own. I want to see. It's inefficient, but I choose the inefficiency. Um, I, M Michael Thomas and home whatever thing, whatever you guys are recommending, I just, I'm not, not ready yet. Not ready to do other people's things yet. Uh, Elias John says, yeah, you, you, that's some advanced French right there. French listening comprehensions for me early on were not so fast. That's okay. I want this level of fast. I have said constantly how the fast Korean helped me and the fast Chinese is helping me. Um, it's like when I learn to sing a song in Korea, in Korean, sometimes I speed it up because then when, then at normal speed, it feels easier. So I don't mind this being very fast if it's very fast. I think that's what I want. I want to be able to understand native speed. I know German sounds different. Just for a minute, it was like, it sounded German for a second for me. I, my brain was dying. Uh, Joshua says, it's weird, but I watch SpongeBob in different languages. I actually have SpongeBob in Korean around here somewhere. I've been meaning to watch it. If only I had hooked up a DVD player. I just don't have a DVD player hooked up anywhere. George, the contest, please. Only cover page or wraparound? I mean, honestly, look, I think the contest, the contest we're talking about is the Japanese Missouri book cover contest. I think the contest is doomed. There's too many laws about contests. So I think the contest is just going to be whatever makes me think it's a cool cover, then I'm going to give the prize out. So do whatever, whatever design you make, don't worry about it. I'm not going to sell it. Your cover will not be sold. And also you won't be getting copies of it because I'm not going to put your design on a cover. Um, there's all sorts of crazy rules. I, for example, if, let's say you submit a cool cover to us and we like it. And then we forget about it. And then like a year later, I randomly do a similar design. You could sue me for using your style, like your design. So... It's not, it's not good for me to get people submitting things because then anything I create would be subject to being sued by somebody who wants to claim part of the profits of that item. So I'll make another announcement about this, but I think I'm going to have to change the, the way the contest is working. I don't know what the best book is to learn Chinese. I know it's being written right now. It's called Chinese from Zero. How's that? Am I accepting French music recommendations? No, I just got into... I only just now got some t uh, Taiwanese stuff happening. I'm not ready for French. Apparently ZAZ is good, but I... Let's see my recent additions. So this is... Jolene, I think, was her name. This is my Taiwanese girl. Where's the hardcore stuff? Come on. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, my brain is happy to hear Chinese right now. Oh, I'm so excited to hear Chinese right now. French was killing me. French was killing me. It'll be okay, though. All right. All right, guys. Well, I have a meeting in 10 minutes, so I'm going to hang up. Thank you for watching uh, Polygon George. Uh, more and more becoming the channel where I start learning more languages. Uh, someone asked me how many languages I'm learning simultaneously. Well... I can tell you that in the last week, from today backwards, I had a Korean lesson, a Chinese lesson, and a French lesson all online with uh, teachers, professional teachers. Uh, in Korean, I'm reading, just reading through a book and, and getting explanations of uh, trying to figure out what the English is. I'm reading Goosebumps. Uh, 
Chinese, I've only had the one lesson I just started, but that was just uh, me explaining who I was and talking in Chinese. Strangely enough, that's probably one of my top 10 long Chinese conversations was that one hour talking with her. Probably the top three long conversations that I've ever had in Chinese. Despite having two semesters of Chinese, we really never spoke Chinese in class. It was really lame. Um, so my Chinese improved, I feel like, a lot during that one little class. Um, and then I had my French class. And actually, I'm going to start looking for a Japanese teacher. What? Japanese teacher, but I'm George Trombley. Uh, but no, I'm reading um, some books now. And normally, uh, I would go through 50 pages or so with my wife and then talk to her about words and usage. But that's a burden to my wife, uh, as much as I love my wife. So I'm going to find a teacher to read that with me. Uh, and then I'm going to start reading more and more Japanese books and just improving that way. Um, because why not? Because I haven't had formal Japanese classes after high school, and it would be nice to get better at Japanese. And I love learning. I love, I love, um, and maybe I should find another, I'm thinking right now I should find even another Korean teacher just to get a different thing, just to keep moving forward on Korean. Why not have a class every day? I don't think I want to add another language, although I was very tempted yesterday. I was like, I should just find a Vietnamese teacher, but I should hold back. If I'm starting French, I do have to devote some time to French. So thank you for that um, recommendation for the podcast. I will start listening to that in the gym just to get attuned to hearing what French sounds like. Zed Horse says, I remember you being angry at Norsk speaking French in the Japanese uh, chat room. Yes, I was mad because it wasn't the right time or place for other languages. He was speaking all sorts of other languages in the Japanese chat room. If we were in Polyglot George chat room, which I told him at the time, if I ever have a channel where we teach multiple languages which we're not doing, we're not teaching languages here, we're just talking about languages here, then it would be fine. Um, by the way, do I think French girls are cute? I don't care about French girls. I don't know what they look like. I literally don't even know what that means. Um, I think I find English girls cute or hot because of their English accent. Like, there's something about them. Like, when I was in England, I was like, oh, they're cute. But I still, I just never really been attracted to, to Caucasian. I just never really have. I, does that mean that I don't find some Caucasian women beautiful? Does it mean that? Yeah, most likely. I just, I, ugh, I'm into them. Their, their body type isn't my type. Asian women are so pretty to me, like like goddess level beautiful to me. You'll never see me like, so I have a friend, Peter, and if, if I find a, like I'm, I'm subscribed to these subreddits, like cute Asians and stuff like that. And if I find a cute girl there, we always like, we'll trade. Like, he'll send me his girl, I'll send me his... I know, it's, he's on Tumblr, I'm on Reddit. It's an old man thing that we do. We're both in our 40s, and we just... It's just old. It's an old man thing to do. I know, it's disgusting. I'm sure it's disgusting. But when you're 45, you'll understand what I'm doing. Anyway, uh, we don't trade white girl pictures. It's just like... There's, there's something, I don't know why. I don't know why I'm not attracted to white. I don't know why. It's a mystery of life. I love that I just said that and I'm reading, I'm a little bit behind on reading the, the comments and it's like, you're an inspiration, George. <laughs> I'm just an old pervert. Oh man. A humbling thing to say about that Japanese class thing. Yeah. You know what? Look, um, obviously I speak Japanese, right? But could it be improved? Absolutely. It could be improved. Absolutely. And already, like, just reading what I've read, I'm still 64 pages in. I haven't gone past 64 pages in my uh, Stai Kataka Q body book. I need to, I want to be better. And I'm not going to lie when I say AJAT Matt really lit a fire under me because this, look, me and Matt, we're on good terms, okay? But let me just take it from this angle because this exists in me outside, outside of you. That mother punk, that punk thinks he's better than me Fuck him, is what I'm thinking. I'm like, I will destroy him in terms of language. And the only way I can do that is by upping my game. And the only way I can up my game is learning more Japanese. Because when I watched him read that game, and I don't know if he read it in advance. I don't know if he just randomly read it. I, I have a feeling he must have read it in advance. But that's just maybe my prejudice of saying, how can he read all those characters that I've never even seen, right? So maybe the RTK, re remembering the kanji, is something, but I still don't want to do it. I actually don't want to do remembering the kanji. It's like it's against my nature. Like I'm fighting it. I'm fight. I'm like, I'm like the uh, the bug and whip company. Yeah. Like 
We've sold buggies and whip. Where is it? What is the the before the car when the car came? What was it? Horse buggies? Yeah, that's what I am, and I and I'm I'm trying to not be that. So, part of what I'm doing is experimenting on in my polyglot side is with French. I'm going to listen to a lot of French. I'm still going to output though as much as I can. I don't believe in the AGI method of not outputting, but I'm not going to let Matt beat me in Japanese. I refuse to let that happen. I'm not trying to start anything with Matt. I love Matt. Uh, I also like Nuke Marine. I like those guys. I don't know about this Brit versus Japan guy, though. Brit? Brit versus Japan? Pfft. I don't know this guy. I just saw that he had an interview. An interview. But Jeremy Heeb? You're going down, buddy. Just joking. Jeremy's a guy that said he learned with JFZ. <clears throat> and he's the guy that was in the interview, JLPT and still not fluent, which is complete BS. The guy was fluent. He just wasn't quote-unquote native fluent he wants to be native that's their goal oh i gotta go i have my meeting in three minutes all right guys talk to you later didn't mean to end it on a rant french lesson was good i'm gonna immediately book another one i'm exhausted talk to you later bye uh bye how do you say bye in french bonjour is hello uh merci is thank you Auf Wiedersehen. German. No, I don't know. Bye. See you later.